Hey everybody, Josh here, and thank you so much for sending me all of your Flat Jesus pictures. They're amazing. We're gonna have another Flat Jesus picture challenge here at the end of this video, so be sure to be listening for that, and I hope to see some more pictures from you. And also, I really have to thank you all because Flat Jesus has been getting a little stir crazy being cooped up in the house this whole time, right? So it's been really good to get him out of the house a little bit, so thank you for helping him with Did that. I, I appreciate that? it. One of the things that we like to do in our house when we're cooped up a long time in the house is to build a fort. I don't know if you all like to build forts. Ours actually can get pretty big. I mean, they're big for us. Maybe you all can do some bigger ones, I don't know. But when they're big forts like this, they can take time. You know, pillows don't like to stand up on their own. You have to move a lot of furniture around. You pull on one side of a blanket and it comes off on the other end and you try something and you have to, it doesn't work, you have to do it again. And I also really wanna make it nice and cushy and soft inside and meanwhile, Josiah's like, I just wanna play dad. And I'm like, no dad, it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> we, you can't go yet. As a fort is a lot of fun because you can do a lot of pretend things in it, but also it's a place where you feel safe you feel the love that went into making it. You might even feel secure. And so naturally, Josiah invites his friends over. What are the friends we have in our house right now? Well, it's our stuffed animals. He has a friend named Hippo Me. And he also invited Flat Jesus, which I thought was a very nice touch. He also tried to invite Millie, to be honest. And it, let's be honest, it didn't work out real well. So we're not going to show that one. In today's verse, Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Like, I was preparing a place for Josiah to play, a fort for him to be welcomed into, to feel safe and secure, because Jesus also wants to welcome us all into his house, his family. He wants to give us a place to belong, a place to feel safe, because let's be honest, we all need that, whether we're five or 25 or 105 and we might easily forget that when we're all cooped up in our houses, but the fact is, is that we need a place. We need home. We need community. And now the question is, who does Jesus invite? Well, it says in the passage, in God's house, there are many rooms. Hmm. It's like a yeah. fort or a house that never hmm. fills up. You just put more and more and more people. They just keep coming and coming. Mm -hmm. Jesus keeps inviting and welcoming and welcoming and inviting. And it doesn't matter because there's plenty of room for everybody. And the amazing part is, is that Jesus prepared a room for every single person. Nobody was an accident. Nobody was forgotten. No matter where you're from, no matter what you look like, no matter what your family is like, no matter who you love, no matter what your abilities are, there is a place for you at the table in the home of God. The church word for this is grace. Another word is hospitality. Hospitality, kind of a big word, but it means welcoming people no matter what, like God welcomes us. We can do that too. What are some ways that we can welcome people just like God welcomes us? It might be hard right now because we're all stuck in our houses, you might say, but maybe there's some ways we can be welcoming. One way is with signs or flags at our houses and in our churches. We do some of that already maybe, but maybe we can make some more signs or maybe in your windows, your open windows or in your yard, there's some space to put a reminder up to people. But maybe you can think of some other things. What are some ways that you all can be welcoming, even right now in this crazy time? And that gets us to our Flat Jesus Pitcher Challenge for the week. This week, I encourage you all to build forts. Yes, pillow forts in your house. No matter if you're young or old or in between, give it a try. If you haven't done it in years, it's a lot of fun, trust me. So take a picture of you and Flat Jesus in or near your fort and maybe also make a welcome sign like this one to let everybody know that they're welcome because as people of God, as followers of Jesus, we welcome just as God has welcomed us. 
So, and also if you don't want to do the fort thing, just do the, the sign thing. Take either picture either way with Vlad Jesus and then send that to me via email and I'd love to see them. You all are amazing people. Stay safe, take care of each other. We will see each other again soon.